Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, DadCraft73. We're back here playing the Age of Engineering, some 1.10 modded Minecraft. And man, we got some power stuff to handle today because we've been crafting stuff. You, all you stuff, come out of here. We're going to need, let me make sure these are turned off. Yeah, you're off. Okay. Let's also grab this out of here. Scenarium parts. Awesome. Pieces parts of Scenarium. Let's go up here, and we're going to run this stuff through our uh, centrifuge and get out the the good stuff, the plutonium. So let's, uh, right here. Yeah. Stuff goes in there. Okay, that's all good. How's this guy doing? What's his deal? Let me see. Let us take some of these. All right, and we'll use our new fancy wireless crafting deal, and we can just dump all those in there, like so. I still understand this magnet thing. A magnet that automatically inserts, I right-click the set filter. Okay, so let's go here. Let's see. Right-click. Okay, that's the filter. Okay, what else does it say? Status active. Filter mode blacklisting. Okay, so we want to change this. Magnet card activated. Oh, it's all glowing and stuff. Okay, so we want to make it whitelist. Okay, there we go. Oh, let's open this, and then we can put this in here. Now, the question is, if I throw cobblestone down... Okay, I don't understand. I still don't understand. Extra items added to inventory. No, I don't want that. Okay, so maybe that's the problem. Let's take this out. And let's see. Extra item left on ground. Extra item added to inventory. Okay, so I guess that's my only option. Okay, so you can go back in there. And I guess what this means is it's going to fill up until <laughs> you junk thing I don't know I don't understand that magnet thing so at least we pick up stuff I guess I mean that's I think the deal right but it doesn't go in here automatically if I throw that down there oh maybe it does wait did I did I make this thing like whitelist or something Okay, well, I guess that's fancy. Okay. Whitelisting. Okay, we want it to be whitelisting, and I want... I'm sorry we're taking some time to figure this silly thing out. Whitelisting is what I want. Whitelisting, and I want it to be like this. whitelisting like that, right? <laughs> Maybe I have caused it to be broken forever. Okay. So now does that mean it'll only pick up cobblestone? Okay. All right, so I think that might be working now. Okay, so what that means is any cobblestone, I mean, I'm going to pick it up, right? But it's going to be added to my inventory. But when I drop cobblestone, right? Do, 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 do. It gets put right in the thing. Okay, all right, there we go. I think I got it figured out. All right, that's kind of cool, right? Okay, I love that. <laughs> all right, well, that was a, a little trip down craziness lane, but... Uh, we're working like we need to now. Okay, are these guys all done? Yeah, they are. Okay, so we have some tiny piles of plutonium. Not very many. How are these guys? Let me see about our quad. Can I make any more of these quad fuel tanks? I need some regular ones. Okay. 
Why isn't this working? Did this process all those? Think go off. Taking stuff from this guy, pulling up grain. You should be pulling this stuff. Is it because? Uh, you shouldn't. Have, we have just. Oh, you know what? Oh, I, I'm idiot. Oh, idiot. Okay, let's go find ourselves a stack of this. Okay, there we go. Stack of uranium. I sorry, it's been a while since I did all this stuff. You go in there, right? And now you're gonna get macerated up. You're gonna go to the ore washing plant. Then you're gonna go in here. You're gonna be washed. And then you're gonna make the stuff we need, right? Yeah, so he's washing stuff, and then he should go in there, and this should happen, okay? And then I just need to be able to get. I can't reach that thing up there. Dang it. Um. <laughs> the, get over here so I can climb up there and put these cells in this tank. In here. You guys go in there, okay? And make your th stuff. Yeah, okay, so this is working now, right? Everything's good. All right, so good. All right, so we're just have to let that run a little bit, and we'll get our nuclear reactors fired back up. But in the meantime, we have a little bit more plutonium that we can take and we can make into these tiny piles. We can put them in and make them like the real deal. I can go like so, like that, and make these. Okay, and then do we have any more tiny piles of plutonium? I do, I have six. Okay, so we can make one more. Okay, and then these guys can go in there. These, And then we're trying to make this uh, RT, RTG, pellets of RTG fuel. Okay, can I make these? Need some more dense iron plates. So let's craft some of those dense iron plates. Let's make, uh, I don't know, 20. Available. Please go away. I don't know. Something is not right with our crafting. We're, we're getting, we're sort of getting, we're stumbling around here. We're not taking care of the business that we need to be taking care of. So let's, let's get to work and we'll figure that out. Let me just see dense. I, I got to figure it out. the compressor we want the rolling machine metal former not rolling machine you go in there guy now can I make some dense deals okay let's see 10 no I want to make more than that let's make 20 Hmm. Okay. Well, let's make 10 of them, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do from there. Okay, you take care of business. Okay, so we need to make... So yesterday in our episode, we spent almost the whole time sort of jumping around a little bit, but we made this wireless crafting terminal, which is awesome, right? Now we can throw stuff in there anytime we want to. Do I have any radioactive stuff on me? No. So I can take this off. I can put this back on. I'm not going to die a horrible death. You could go back in there like so, Okay. Scoop can go in there, too. That's that thing. Okay, we're going to get to that. Don't you worry. Okay, so today I want to mess around with Calculator because we talked about how we've sort of let some of the key 
items uh, in uh, sort of go by the wayside. Focus on rocketry and shooting all over the galaxy and riding our space station around. Uh, and then starting it right into mechanism with a brand new power source. And we still have some issues out there with our existing power network. So what we're going to do, well, the first thing I want to do, I want to see how many of these calculator plugs I have. And I want to go downstairs and see what's going on in this chest. Over Hey, you obviously do not know who you're dealing with, guy. Where did you come from? Are there stuff like sneaking in? Maybe there? Maybe. We'll get that fixed. I sh this shouldn't be dark in here. Hmm, I don't know. Here, put, go in there. Go in there and go away. Okay, let's go look at this chest because this chest is always out of control. It's clear full of stuff all the time. But what I want is calculator plugs. There's two of those guys. Oh, man, look at this mess that we have. <laughs> We're going to fill up our... We have to shut this thing down. Pretty soon, I think we will. I mean, I don't really want to because we're getting nether stars out of it, but we're getting all this kind of junk stuff all the time. I don't really know how to handle some of this stuff. Okay. But that being said, is we can put this in here. We can put all these guys, all these guys, all these guys. So a lot of those get deleted when they go into the system, but that's okay. But we do have some more calculator plugs. So calculator... So now we have 23 of these. I need two more. Well, one more. Just one more. Okay. And that means I need a piece of this. Okay. So I need these dense plates to be done. Are these done? Okay. So if I look at calculator plug, we need one of these. We need some of this RTG fuel, which we should be able to make now, right? There we go. Perfect. And now we should be able to make this. All right, there's our calculator plugs. Now we have 24 of these. That's how many we need. And now we need a calculator locator. Just one of these. I don't know why we have 16, but we do. And then we need some of this stone stuff. What's it called? Like fancy stable stone, right? Okay. And we're also going to need a power cell. I hope I can make this. I mean, I can make this, I'm, I'm pretty sure. All right, we need a machine frame. Let's go over to our replicator and get that done. That's the other thing I'm a little worried about. I mean, I think I'm okay for uh, machine frame this guy. Okay, single run. Let's rip this guy out really quick. There we go. Okay, so we have that now. And then if we stick this in the middle, we're going to get a power cell, which is good. And then we're going to need power cell. We're going to need this. So we're going to need some paper. Let's just make a bunch of that. That works. And then we're going to need one of these. Can we make one? No. Okay, so we're going to have to go upstairs. Okay, and we're going to have to get... We need an Enderman head. We should have a couple. Yeah, we do. Okay, we need some Solarium. We need two of those. One, two. We need some Silicon. We need two of those. And we need uh, alloy. Which one is it? I think it's this one. Okay. And then we should be able to come over here like so into the slice and splice and just go like this, this, this. I love the fact that you could just kind of click those in. That's awesome. Okay. So there's that. End of resonator. No problem. And now if we can put this guy here and we can get our Klein flask. Okay. So power cell card is what we're trying to make. The other thing is this. Do we have that? No. Do we have this? Yeah. Yes. Advanced energy relay. And then we should be able to make this guy. Yes. And now we can make the power cell card. Right? Done. Perfect. All right. We just need to put this in a guy somewhere. Let me see. How about over here? And we will go here and we'll get him into our network. All right. We can put this guy down like that. And then we can put this guy here. Why is there thing shooting me? That guy is up there. Do you not know who you're dealing with, guy? Get shot dead. How does that guy spawn up there? 
I need some cobblestone is what I need. Let me get a little bit. And we will go up here like so. What a rat nest this is. How'd that guy spawn back there? I guess it was a spot. Okay. Well, you're done spawning up there now, guy. Dang it. Alright, let's get all this knocked back down. Okay. That was cool. So now, if I'm like, oh, I'm done with my that, that stuff. <laughs> Alright. So now this guy has a ton of power sitting in him. So that's perfect. Let's grab that guy. And now, I think we can go build this calculator deal. Okay? Uh, it's nighttime, so let's sleep through the night. Now, from what I understand, this uh, calculator locator thing is a little sketchy. Uh, you have to stabilize it. If you don't stabilize it, man, it's uh, it's a problem. Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah. Get yourself chopped up. Okay, where are we going to build this thing? We have this crazy guy over here that we're using for only to make diamonds. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, where do we want to put this? Out here in this little area, maybe? Yeah, this can be like calculator power land. Okay. Alright, so if I understand correctly, we need a base of stone. Like, and we're going to do 25, right? So we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's four, and one, two, three, four, five, like that, okay? I hope I have enough. And then we have to go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. We are one short. <laughs> yeah, so we got to go up. It's got to be like a two high stack over here. So we're going to have to go figure out how to make one of these stones. We may have have one in that chest over there. So let's go. We'll take a look and see. So there, yeah, we're one short. Let's go in. Oh, no, we got to go inside. Let's go over here to this chest and let's hope we have one of these stable stones. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's go back upstairs. And let's go back over here to this little setup. It looks cool, for sure. All right, and then this guy goes here. Okay, right there. Now that's the right setup. Now, we need to put the calculator locator dead center. Uh, we have to put that block back and put him right there. And then we have to break. He needs to be like open underneath. And then we can put this back, okay? Yep, and then we take these calculator plugs and we put them all around like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, like that. And then we go like this. And these have to surround this thing. Perfect, okay. So there's essentially our base setup. Yeah? All right, now I need to absolutely 100%, almost 100%, empty my inventory so any extra junk that I don't need needs to go away. Okay, you need to come here and we can sort. Oh, I can't. So this, all this stuff, this configurator, uh, this smoker thing can go in there. Let's go in here. Let's get rid of this, this, this guy right here. Keep that. Keep that. Uh, we can get rid of those torches. Get rid of these arrows. Oh, we kind of need arrows, don't we? Here, let's just get an arrow. Uh, the linker can go in there, and our engineering manual can go in there. Okay. All right, and then I need 25 circuits, and they have to be stable circuits, which well, just so happens that we have plenty. So which ones are stable? Are these the stable ones? Yeah, they have to be stable. It doesn't matter, I don't think, which ones we get. So that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We need one more space, inventory-wise. Um... Uh, Do. 
Maybe put my shovel up there for the time being. And we'll put this in there. Put this in here. Okay, and then we should be able to get one more. Okay, so that should be 25 of these things. Now let's go upstairs again. And then we go over here to this guy, like so. And we land in the middle, or wherever. Oh, dang it. Okay. And then these circuits go in these. And as soon as you put them in there, they turn green, right? So then it says, hey, we're stable, we're in good shape, we're happy, we're no longer grumpy and sad. Okay. Oh, I did have an extra one. I guess I needed 24, didn't I? Okay. So this thing says, owner is none, active false. All right. So the first thing we want to do is before we go too crazy making stuff, of course I put my shovel away and now I instantly need it. Okay. Let's get under here like this. And I'm just going to export my power directly in to this guy. All right. I'm going to say you're in. Set to in. Okay. So that should be fine. Perfect. And I shouldn't even... I'll, I'll leave that for now. Okay. So I need to make one more thing. Calculator. It's like a thing. Um, calculator. What is it? It's like a ownership... A uh, thing, <laughs> an ownership thing. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, what is it? It's like a, it almost looks like a calculator. Locator module. Maybe it's yeah. This is it right here. We need to make this. So we need two energy cubes. We need two calculators. Okay. So let me see. How about how are we doing for calculator? Do we have any of these? I have one. Do I have a calculator in here? No. Okay. Well, we can make one. All right. Let's um. Let's see what we can do. So, calculator. If I want to make just a regular one of these, right? I think I have all the stuff. Yep. Okay. So there's a second calculator. They're instantly going to get charged up, and then I need two energy modules, which we should have. There's one. Okay. And then if we go down here, we can get another one out of this thing. Okay. Bang. All right. And then I need my flawless calculator, which is right here. All right, we'll open this guy up. And he needs to be in like flawless mode. There we go. And then we should just click, oh no, not that. Click these guys in here and we get the locator modules. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you, we will put this stuff away and we will go over here and we will put that circuit away. How are these guys doing? Everybody happy? Not really. Uh, we've got problems in this whole storage thing. You know what I could do is just go like, give me all these. And then we can just go, oh, you guys go away. The end, Because we, I think we're going to need those little guys uh, at some point. We should look and see what we need to use those for. Here, let me get all these out of here. Okay. And then you guys can go in there. Let's see what we use these things for. Nope. Uh, use. So we can make calculator plugs, obviously, out of those guys. We can, oh, these energy tablets from Mechanism. Okay, yeah, so we're definitely going to need those guys. And then if scientific calculator, we can make a starch extractor. We don't care about that. We can do that. And we can make a conductor mass and nutrition module. Okay, but we need those four mechanism things. So we might as well just put all of these in here and keep them. Okay. All right, now, if we go back upstairs and... Uh, if this if, if if you don't have this done right, the word on the street is that you blow up and like die. Okay. Okay. Owner Dadcraft. Oh no. Okay. This thing passively is making six point eight. 6800 6, RF per tick. Now, I don't think these like circuits ever like go south. And you can make this thing massive. I mean, massive. 
I mean, for sure. Like, you can make it, I think it's 21 by 21 is how big you can. I mean, I don't even know how much power that would be, but this is what we're making power with from now on. We got that solar panel doing 15,000. I mean, this is a ton of resources, but essentially we've got these things being crafted for us automatically. And if we set up our replication to make plutonium, we can increase the power even more. So essentially what we've done here with this guy right here, producing power, uh, we can't really click on it and see. We have to go inside. Uh, this is I know this is getting kind of annoying. But if we look at this guy, I don't know what the buffer is. I'm going to say maybe 50 million, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's working like a dream. So we're getting 7,000 RF a tick from that guy. Now we could also hook up a power cell to this guy as well. I mean, he's pulling some power, not very much. I mean, he has a bunch in him, right? 50 million RF in there, but I think he only makes like, I don't know, like 80 or something RF a tick. So that was just because it's been sitting there forever. Okay. So power is online as far as that goes. Now let's spend a little bit more time. Uh, we have a few minutes left in this episode. Uh, let's see if we can't get some solar stuff going on here. So we want to make some solar panels. All right, they should be pretty easy. And then we can use those to immediately jump to advanced solar panels, right? That's the plan, okay? So if we learn how to make these, so generator, okay. Let's see what we can actually make here. So generator, no, uh, I see at, no, at, oh, it won't let me, okay, industrial, oh my goodness, industrial craft. Can I make batteries, I guess is the, the real question. Yes, okay, solar deal this so I need to learn how to make this I should be able to make all of this thing all of these different things can I make a iron furnace yes okay can I make a generator yes okay all right so then we should be able to go here and do can I make a circuit no I have not taught this thing how to make a circuit as of yet. Why not? Okay, that's a pretty simple... Okay, can I make copper? I can make this. No. Can I make this? No. All right, I can make these, though. Okay. Okay. Is it because I don't have that much rubber? Hmm. I mean, that could possibly be the issue. I need to figure out how to get more rubber. Actually, I mean, I don't need to figure it out like right now, right? I don't need to figure it out right now. So let's go to our pattern deal. Uh, how many patterns do we have? We have a bunch of blank ones right here. Let's make 20 more. That's been working out for us. Okay. And we have all these different things. Start. You do your thing. You do you, guy. Okay. So if I want to make a, this is going to be a crafting pattern, and I want to make a solar panel, one of these. All right, so we're going to need oh, so the panel. I don't have glass. Why don't I ever have glass? I don't I don't know. I mean, I have plenty of sand. I just never have. I guess because I make it and then I never come back to it. Okay. So solar panel, we need to teach it how to make this. There. Okay. You know how to make that. Okay. Do I know how to make coal dust? Do I know how to make that? Yep, okay, I do. All right, and the only thing I need to teach it now is how to make one of these circuits. So we need to teach it how to make that. That's easy. And then we also need to teach it how to make this, which is also easy. Okay, so those all go in the molecular assembler. Molecular assembler, right? There's like none of that stuff in there. Okay, so you, 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 and you. Okay, so now if I want to make a solar panel, right, I should be able to make one, right? Let's make two. Uh, generator. I thought I knew how to make a generator. Did I not? I just have one? I don't Okay, I didn't really actually teach it how to make one. Okay, 
generator and we need to make this all right so I should be able to let's make a battery we got to have the pieces parts so let's make one of these all right that should come in and I guess we're gonna have to figure out a rubber how we're gonna get more rubber okay and a generator okay so let me see we're gonna need this Okay, so we need a furnace. We need to make an iron furnace. Let's make one of those. Okay, now we should be able to make the generator. Um, generator. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, now you know how to make a generator. Go into the molecular assembler and henceforth craft these tools for me. Okay, you're in there. Now, if I want to do solar, right I should be able to click on this and say let's make three I don't know why not right and it's got all these crazy things that it's got a craft some of it we have available some of it we don't we got to make some redstone we got to make some other little odds and ends but we start that and then solar panel should be coming our way so then if we want to take this solar panel and we want to turn it into this we need to know how to make all of this stuff okay how much uranium Oh, I've got stacks on stacks. Not really, but I've got a good bit. Okay. So, solar panel. We want to make uh, an advanced solar panel. So, we have to teach you how to make this. All right. We need some of these ingots. Uh, we need this, and we need this. So, we should be able to teach it. Okay. So, we can teach it how to make that uh, advanced solar. All right, we want to do this, and we're going to teach it how to make these. Okay, it knows how to make glowstone, so that's not too bad. All right, and then, okay, so these need to go into the molecular assembler. Okay, and then we want to make a couple of those. Okay, advanced solar. And then we should be able to make this, right? Okay. Reinforced glass. Whew. Expensive. Okay. So advanced. So we may have to do a little bit of messing around here, but I at least want to be able to advanced solar. Where is that? Over here. Okay. So now I should be able to teach it how to make this. Okay. Make that. And then advanced solar. It already should know how to make those. I don't know if it knows how to make. I think we're going to use those. Yeah, because we can make those. And then this thing right here. Okay, so I don't want to spend too much time because I could work on that off camera. But essentially what we're going to do is we're going to start going down. So now we have essentially, we're making, I don't know, 30, 20, 25 or so uh, thousand RF a tick. You, six, 7,000 from there, 15 from our deal. So what's that, 22? Um, we can certainly increase that if we want to. Uh, what I would like to do just to finish up this episode is I want to look at the, uh, what's it called? Molecular, this guy, right? And I want to see what he can do and see if he can make plutonium for me. I'm pretty sure he can. Yeah. Yeah. So one piece of iron is going to give... No, that's iridium, not plutonium. Plutonium. All right, there's no way to make that except for burning fuel rods based on what I can see. Okay. So we do need... We're going to need more of these RTG fuel deals. So we're going to have to keep doing some, some stuff with... Uh, nuclear power so let us get our hazmat suit on <laughs> we started off the episode with this crazy thing and then scuba out and then our rubber boots these guys all right and we'll take all these off and we'll put all this on okay and then we should be able to go in here and get these throw these in here and if I want to do some quad cells right we should be able to make iron plate ok 
Okay. Those should come in pretty quick. We only need, we have 16. We need six more, right? 21 total, okay. We can make these. So we can go one, two, three, four. Okay, that's 20. Can I make this last one now? 21, okay, perfect. Now I wanna go fire up my nuclear reactor again because all I really care about, I mean, I don't even know what to make in that uh, we can access it down here, so it's not a problem. I don't really even know what to make in this thing. Maybe iridium? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think maybe we will need some iridium, so we might as well get making some. Uh, but I, essentially what I want to do is I just want this thing to, to burn through fuel rods. Okay, thank you. I knew that already. There we go. You turn on. You can turn on. And you can turn on. Okay. These are all nice and stable. Okay, this guy, so it's not doing much, right? How much is it making? 420 EU per tick? Okay, so if I want to look at this guy, and right here we can show the recipes. So I don't need to make any of that stuff. I don't need rubies. I don't need copper. I don't need gold. I don't need chrome, really. I mean, I might at some point. I don't need nether stars. I, I need some scenario, maybe. Silver ingot, chrome dust. I don't need diamonds. I have those uh, by stacks of them. Platinum, mm, I don't know. Maybe at some point I might need it. Iridium ore, clay, and scenarium. So I think what we're going to do um, is get some glowstone out of here. And we'll just put a stack of glowstone in this guy. Right? You start doing your deal. And then we're going to have a bunch more of that scenarium stuff. But the real thing that I need to do, so maybe we'll come back next time and we'll automate the whole fuel rod deal and, and hopefully get to the point where we can make a couple of these advanced solar panels. I mean, we're going to need pieces, parts, but I don't want to spend too much time working on that because we're already long in this episode. But the best part of what we've done today, without a doubt, let's go up here. Oh, yeah, nice. Is we have made this. And this thing right here is generating six, almost 7,000 RF a tick. And it's just passive. Man, that's money in the bank. If we had some more of those, if we can get some more plutonium, and we can make more of these things, and that means we can expand it, right? We can even go bigger. Like we can make it out a couple more blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my Age of Engineering series, where RF is essentially not a problem at the moment, now we got to work on EU. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.